In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download, install, and use external instruments in your Logic Pro for iPad projects. Let's go. Now, Logic Pro for iPad comes with a bunch of cool instruments, your keys, your strings, your synths, your horns, a bunch of cool stuff. As a quick refresher to add a new track, we hit the plus button over here, and then we tap on MIDI. This is going to add a new MIDI track, and it's going to bring up our instrument patches. If that isn't showing, it's right here under your browser. Tap that one, and it's right here under instrument patches. All of your patches are going to be there. You can use your filter here to find all the different sounds, and when you've got one that you want, you can preview it by tapping there, and I like to have this button on here. This blue button means that as soon as you tap it, it's gonna change that. So if we wanted this to be this Wurlitzer, you can see there it's changed, and now, we have a whirly sound. So that's great, and we can use all the built-in instruments, but what if we wanna use an instrument that we've downloaded from the App Store? That's what we're gonna show you now. So I've jumped over to the App Store. There are a heap of paid and free instruments we can download. For the purposes of this example, I'm gonna use a free one called Numa Player. So if we search Numa Player here, tap on that one, you'll have a download button there, a get button, get that one, and now we can jump back to Logic Pro and add this full featured instrument into our Logic Pro project. So let's do this now from scratch again. We're going to hit the plus button. This time, we're going to hit the three dots in the bottom right corner. And here where it's got the patch or the instrument, instead of the default patch, we're going to tap on that one and go down to instruments. Now you'll see that we have these drop downs. This is all of our different categories of instruments. It's actually a handy way to add an instrument patch rather than going through that giant list there. And we've also got this one, instruments down here. And I happen to know that Studio Logic are who make Numa Player. Now, the way this is organized with the developer instead of the name, it's a little bit clunky. If we go to Studio Logic here, we tap on Numa Player. This time, when we hit Create, it's going to create a new instrument, but look what it's done. Instead of adding in a default instrument patch from Logic Pro, it's added in the Numa Player. And if we want to go to all the settings of this one, just double tap and look at that. We've got everything we need to set up and use this very cool free instrument. I have a complete video about how to use Numa Player. It's for Garage Band, but it works exactly the same here in Logic Pro. I'm just going to tap here to add in an electric piano sound as well as my acoustic piano because this is how this works. We can add additional different sounds here. And when we play, it's going to have whatever sounds, up to four sounds we have there. And you've got complete control over how those sound. You can play with that in your own time, but we just want to show you how to get it done. Let's hit the record button and record in a little something, something. hit the stop button and we're done. So that's recorded that in. Now, if we tap on this plugins button, it's going to remove that plugin there and you can see what it's actually recorded here. So it records this just as a standard MIDI track, but instead of using one of our standard instruments, it's using this external instrument. And again, if we want to access that and change the settings or the parameters, tap on your plugins there and it's going to be right there after your MIDI effects and before your audio effects. So you can add in audio effects on top of this, including external plugins, which we showed in the previous video, you can find linked up there and in the description. Let's show you that one more time. So we're gonna add another track of Numa Player. We're gonna hit the plus button here. Here in MIDI, we're gonna tap on the three dots. We're gonna to go to the patch or the instrument here, go to instrument and then come down here to instruments. So we can come there, we can add that one. It's Numa Player. We can hit the create button and now we've got a second track here. Let's double tap on this one. This time we're gonna turn off the acoustic piano up the top here by hitting that power button up there and then coming down, not, not turning on the electric pianos. Oh, maybe we will, but we'll do a string or a pad here. We'll tap on this one here to turn on a string or a pad. And now we could actually play this sound here. So let's record this over the top of our original sound. Once again, we can tap on the plugins button there and come back to this screen. Now you probably would have seen the interface isn't working perfectly and it's sort of not scrolling particularly smoothly. We're still at Logic Pro version 1.1. So there are still some compatibility things being ironed out and using this free plugin I just wanted to use to show you how it works. Other plugins, 
work in different ways and let's show you one now so we'll hit the plus button here this time i'm going to go to the midi track and choose a different instrument so the patch instrument again there we're going to go to instrument down here to instruments and this time let's go to clev grand and uh, let's go with the hillman this is a cool instrument by clev grand a great creator of great apps and this time it's opened up here we can double tap there check this out we can now <laughs> Use the Hillman to create some very cool ethereal organ sounds. So let's just record something else with this instrument over the top. And there we have it. Once again, we tap on that button there, the plugins button, and here you go. We've got these instruments. Now we can rename these. So if you don't want them to just say instrument one, instrument four, instrument five, you can rename those. And if you want to go back to those plugin settings, just hit the plugin button and you'll see that one's got the Hillman and Numa player are on those ones. Now Hillman is a paid app and there's a heap of really cool iSymphonic. There's a bunch of others that work really well. Ravenscroft 275 is my favorite piano sound. You can use all of those together along with all of the included sounds in Logic Pro. A couple of quick things before we finish up. We can also move performances between different tracks and change the instrument as well. So let's say we want this instrument here, the one that was in Numa Player, up onto this Wurlitzer. We just grab it and drag it up and drop it there. And now if we solo this, take a listen. It's playing through that Wurlitzer instead of our instrument there. Now we can do the same thing moving between external instruments. So we can just grab and drag between whatever instruments we like. If you want to change an instrument, you can just go here to the plugins and then here on the instrument, if we double tap that one, it's going to open the Numa player. But if we go over here to the left and go to the browser, we can actually tap this left button, go into our instrument patches and we can choose a different instrument here instead. So say we wanted this uh, de deluxe classic, we can preview it. This is the one we want. So we tap on, I like this button here, and look, it's replaced it. It's brought our vintage electric piano in here. And if we tap back there, you can see it's replaced that. Now from here, again, I can be corrected here, but I don't think you can then add an external instrument because if you go into instrument patches here, there's no way to actually go to your external instrument patches. If I'm totally wrong on that and someone wants to correct me, absolutely go ahead and do that. But I believe all of these are only the instruments that you have included within Logic Pro. If you want to add an external instrument, you've got to do it through that add track method. There you have it, a quick, easy, and sometimes free way to get more instruments into your Logic Pro for iPad Pro. If you'd like to learn more about Logic Pro for iPad, check out the complete tutorial list down in the description and I'll see you next time.